first. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have to beat you up in front of your daughter, bitch. And I don't have to beat you up in front of your daughter. I don't have to beat you up in front of your daughter. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Go outside. Yes, yes. Go outside. The last thing I wanted was for me and Tammy to have to physically fight. Like, I'm a grown-ass woman with a business and a child. That's why yesterday I was so quiet, because the last thing I want to do is cause me and Tammy to fight, and you have to get in the middle of it. I'm feeling really confused right now. I'm feeling upset. I definitely feel like Tammy is legit crazy. Like, to be a woman of her age, and to feel like you have to run around a hotel building to find somebody for expressing how they feel, it's it's not normal at all. I'm like, yo, what's up? All right, let's talk about it. And when I want to talk about it, she wants to get up from the table and walk away. Duffy sacrificed just to go on a growth trip, come for Jackie, come for my birthday, and just to relax. And I kind of feel bad for her. Clearly, she's not woman enough and grown up enough to sit and communicate with me and have a conversation. And, and she feels like she has to come around the table to physically fight me. It is so hard for me to deliver this news to Duffy because I know how important it is for her to be here with us. She wants to make things right with Tammy, and it's just not working out that way. She came for me to, like, attack me. She is angry, and she feels like if you stay, it's going to be fight on site every time. I'm not so putting my her. Thing... I'm not putting her right. in a situation right. to be... I'm not, I don't so... want to be around her. I don't want to be nowhere yeah. and, near. And as much as it hurts me, Duff, because, like, and, you know, I don't want to have to be like, oh, Duff, could you not be here? But I almost, I'm at a crossroads where I have to say, I think it's better for your safety, for the safety of everybody involved. I don't think it's safe, and I, like, I think that you guys need to separate. To the point is, regardless to the point is, is that, you know, like, let's just disperse. I think Duffy is scared. As long as Tammy knows that the body is warm and is in her 10-mile radius, she's going to come for it. So, yeah, boo, thanks for coming. Tammy is Jackie's friend. I and, agree. like, you and Jackie are just meeting each other, so it is only right that Tammy stays with her friend. It's only right. Like, I'm missing money. I could be working right now. Like, it's a lot of things that I can do. So you be a friend to your friend, and I will go on tour like I'm supposed to be doing and make my money instead of getting fired. I feel bad for Duffy because I feel like she's taking one for the team. And with one lady not wanting to be around her for whatever reason, it's just, I, I know that Duffy's kind of hurt inside. Why is everything falling on Duffy? So I'm perfectly fine with going back home and going to work and, you know, doing what I got to do. To some people, it might look like I'm running away. To me, I'm being smart. These ladies are crazy. This Let me go pack my Get the up out of here. Thank you. At least I can get this situation away from me, and we can try to enjoy whatever part of the trip we have left. I'm not really happy with how things were left in Big Bear with Angel Love and I. She didn't think I had her back, and I need to set the record straight, because nobody calls Jackie Christie a bad friend and gets away with it. Hey. Hey, Jackie. I would ask you for a hug, but I know you're probably still uptight about Big Bear. I mean, I'm great. I want to hash out what we have going on, if you're OK with that. Just that night, it was just so much. And me arguing with three women in there, attacking me, coming at me all at one time. And just in there, like, just swimming by myself. So I'm like, well, damn, I felt like Angel or Jackie could have stepped in and said something. Not really so much you. I was specifically talking to Angel. So I'm, I'm OK. I, I totally appreciate that, Angel. But I also kind of resented a little bit because I was sitting there and I feel like I've known these girls a very long time, so they can read my body language. And my body language is, I'm going to sit right here, I'm going to observe the situation, and as long as ain't no blows thrown or nothing else, let's let her handle it, because you was kicking ass, period, point blank. You was letting everybody know how you felt. Yeah. And I felt, hey, how are you? Glad you was able to come. Thank you for having me. Yes, definitely. Hi, Seriously? Like, what in the is going on at this moment. I don't like surprises, Jackie. So I didn't tell Angel that I was inviting you to come, but I wanted to bring us three together. Because... Surprise! What a surprise. I 
know I said I did not want to hang out with this girl anymore, but the good, kind-hearted, sweet Southern girl that I am, I decided to do it. I'm instantly starting to regret it. I just want to say, let's hash out our differences together. Yeah. Big Bear, Angel wasn't happy with the way things went down. She felt like three of y'all was jumping against one person. I don't feel like we were jumping you. I felt like I was more standing up for Malaysia. I did feel like you were being really rude to her considering she was trying very hard to be positive. This is the thing right here. The situation with Malaysia, Brandy, I just want you to speak on your behalf. So let's just talk about the situation with Malaysia. Like let's I just said, talk about the listening. situation with you. And that was you putting something in my drink. And if you can't come here to apologize girl. to Yes, girl, please, nothing. OK, here we go. It's just another excuse that Angel Love can use for her behavior. I'm over the whole drink thing. It's It really was not that big of a deal. If you can't he come here to apologize to me about what you did, then there's nothing else I have to say to you. Angel, I apologize for putting alcohol in your drink. Thank, thank you, you. Yes. OK, yes, so now you. can we talk about the real thank issue? You. Because that's not thank the real you. issue. Thank you. Well, if it's something dealing with Malaysia, then Malaysia can speak on herself. I'm letting you know how I, Duffy, feel about you. But I feel that you're very rude. How you... It does matter because I have to be around you, too. And okay. that affects the way that I act. So what I'm saying is you should treat everyone with respect and be kind to people, and then you won't get no negativity out of me, okay. period. First thing I asked Malaysia when she came upstairs was, do you really feel like I was threatening Brandy? That's all I asked her. But you chose to jump in and defend her for nothing. I, no, and then I did you, it for you a reason. Really caused and I'm the whole glad big I did situation. it. And you jumped what, in, caused so the whole what, situation. And whatever, who cares? Right now yeah, you're being really rude. Okay. Right oh. now you're being rude. So right. now you see what it feels like so when someone's right being rude, right? Right now you're being right? really rude. Oh, so, you don't okay. like that, right? right? It doesn't matter how you feel about me. We can go back I and forth all day. day. It That's don't fine. matter how you feel about me. Okay, so it doesn't great. even matter. You can continue to do your music yeah. videos and go on with the rest of your no, life. I, music videos. That's I'm all you do. Also. No. Yeah, I've done music videos. I've worked with major artists, Kanye West, Future, Rick Ross, Justin Timberlake. Like, come on now, girl. You're just a hater. You have three degrees, but all you do is dance on men in music videos. That's dance. probably why your baby dad is not with you, you right now, OK? What? I'm no, with my man. Me. No, you're not. You could have been, you know, working your little ITT degrees or whatever you did, but instead you decided to go make a hundred bucks to like grind on a man, hoping that that baller in the video would wife you, and they didn't. You never you see this ring? Baby, you I ran through the do. whole Dallas no, basketball you team. Wish. That's what you, you do. Wish. You need to figure that part out. My man played for Dallas, and I'm amongst the basketball girlfriends and the basketball wives, and her name has came up a several times. No. Duffy, you got bodies, boo. And she needs to be worrying about her spreading herself thin across the court, OK? Let's go. I know we can go I'm body for body, down. baby. I live with my man for the last four you years. You live with Breezy. Stop it. it. She's talking about me sleeping with men in Dallas. That was not true. She's sitting here blatantly lying in my face, which is making me even more upset. You keep it up, I'm going to block you out the industry. You won't be able to do no more music videos. I will run you down. Good morning. How are you? It's audition day. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Today is the day we're casting Jazz's music video. I've agreed to let Duffy handle everything, so I don't really know what I'm walking into. I was like, I got my sneakers on. I have to get up and show them what I might. Because we, we need this to be popping, so yeah. I, we might have to give some instructions. Because I was worried about your flyer. It had no address, no time. I said, now, Duffy, how you going to be directing and we can't even get people to the audition? Girl, we got a whole line out there. You know. I saw. It worked. Tammy, sweetie, this is my video. I'm the director. I just need you to chill and just be here to support me. Shh. Can we get the dancers? This should be interesting. So if we could line um, everyone up across here, we are going to separate you in two groups. Y'all can have a seat. This will be group number one. And I'm going to start the song. What I want from y'all is to be yourself, be original. So you can start off, vibe to it. Hit it. We'll have group number two. It's LA, right? 
We need some stars in the building. All I want, all I, all I want is the Louis. Y'all be ready to turn up when the beat drops. I'm trying so hard to hold my tongue because this audition is so unprofessional, I can't even take it. Duffy has got all the dancers in one room. Everybody's dancing at the same time. And she's up there in her own bull Thank you so much. Can we see one, seven, six, and nine together? She's letting people know right on the spot who she wants, who she doesn't, in front of the other dancers. Can I see you and 10 and eight together? All right, now. Better get it, lifeguard. Hey. This audition is a hot ass mess. One, six, seven, and eight. Uh, can y'all stay in here? I just want to talk to y'all. And um, everyone else can exit right now. Um, you stay eight. Two, you can you can go too. If you would all give me your information, I will give y'all a call on who we decide to choose. I've been in the game for about 21 years now. Been to a lot of auditions. You call people in one at a time, you let them do their thing, and call back the people that you're interested in. Duffy handled the auditions unprofessionally. Okay. So you got the information? Yes, I have everyone's information. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, no. We have all your information, so if we do do something else, we will contact you for auditions. Thank you Thank for you. coming in, sweetie. I feel so bad. Well, the reason you felt bad is because, see, I come from this world, and so I've been on a lot of auditions from an acting standpoint. But I just think it, there was no structure. Mm -hmm. And when you have castings, you know, like we had one group sitting here watching the other group, then you brought those people back. And I, like for me, if I had been at an acting audition, I would feel so bad mm -hmm. because it happened right in front of everybody. Well, that's how they do in da dancing auditions. I know you do acting, but I've done music videos and this is the way it goes. It's like, they're okay. Tammy thinks that I should have had one dancer come in at a time, but hey, this is Hollywood. They do auditions all the time. It's either you're good enough or you're not. If you're a dancer, I want to put you on the spot and I want to see how you perform. I feel like you could have presented yourself better. The people didn't even know what the video or what they were dancing for in the beginning. Well, it doesn't matter what you feel like, Actually, Tammy, it does. Because it actually I does put this matter. on. Actually, it I does did matter. this for actually, free. It does matter. I brought all actually, of these people matter. that came, and the first you, thing that well, you I knew, posted the flyer. Jazz like. posted the flyer. Everybody, it was a collective. Oh, you effort. posted the flyer that you thought was bad. Yes. I did because I said I wasn't gonna step on your toes and I was gonna let you do what you but this deem is for your daughter's career. So you should make sure as her manager that everything is right. So if you felt like I was and unprofessional, that's why I had some you people here. In. That's why I you personally called in. some people here okay, that we actually you picked. Have that we actually okay. picked. Oh um, now now you did. I do plan on debuting this music video for jazz within a few weeks. So I knew that I needed to take it upon myself as the momager to make sure that we had some bringers there. Because I don't got time for Duffy to be this up for jazz. So this is the thanks I get for putting this together. It's not about a thanks. If your heart ain't in it and you don't want to do it, don't do it. Clearly, my heart is in it. I, okay, I well then, what the are we it. discussing? That after we pick a great group of people, your first thing so. is everything didn't go the way that I liked it. I feel like that was rude and that was very inconsiderate. And actually, actually everything I've done is I've done out of the kindness of my heart and it's not nothing well, I'm Well, Duffy, I'm not gonna kiss your ass because you did what you said you were gonna sweetheart, do. Sweetheart, I'm, I'm in this don't industry call me and I do this. Don't call me sweetheart. Need, I don't need you to tell me what's Don't call me sweetheart. Don't call me sweetheart. I don't need you to tell me. Don't call me sweetheart. You can't call people bitches around here. You can't call people sweethearts around here. Like, well, yeah, please do not oh, call okay. me sweetheart because I'm not your sweetheart. Duffy's definitely aggravated, but I just want her to stay in her seat. Keep it cute. Don't put your hand up because all of that will cause you to get popped in your face. Because guess what? I'm just as aggravated as you. Age before beauty. The great artists of the world understand that it's not just about the music, it's also about the presentation. So today we're meeting up with Udi to pick out Jazz's fancy wardrobe. Hello. How are you? Fine. And I'm also gonna have to fire Duffy's ass today. 
We want to establish a color palette and we want to establish a, a, a story right. with your outfit for your performance. And so what I'm thinking is we need to figure out, do we want to be bright and flashy or do we want to be muted and timeless? Because this suit, I think, does both. It gives us yeah, it does. the muted, it gives us the flash, so, it gives us yeah, everything. So and I how we'll that. swing it is we'll put when it's time to perform. a moment mm -hmm. under. So this will be open and this will wrap around your stomach and it'll be like a, a, a bandeau but with be strings. Skinny again. You know what I mean? I, oh, I want to be skinny. Love. You know, there was a time when my tits didn't hang down to my waist and my ass wasn't closer to my knees. And I really used to rock some skinny So then what do you want to perform in? This stuck out to me a lot. Hello. Hello. What's up? How are you? Hi, Tim. Good to see you. You look pretty. You. So excited to see you. Welcome yeah. back. Thank you. I have one agenda, and that is to be professional, let her know I thank her for everything that she's done, but we're not gonna continue with her as the director. And hopefully she agrees with that and moves on. <laughs> and we have no issues for the sake of jazz. Um, okay, so. This is me getting into my zen. Zen, oh, zen is so good. You know? <laughs> zen, that moment, yeah, I'm into that. Why is everyone staring at me? Nobody seems really happy or excited. I mean, Tammy is trying to find her zen right now. And I'm starting to wonder, like, what did I just walk into? So I went to the meeting with the creative team for Jazz and told them I didn't have any information. I felt like it was unorganized to the point that it was like, I don't know what the hell is going on. I should know what's going on. Or at the very least, you should know what's going on. And nobody was enlightened. OK, and y'all could have easily reached out to me. I mean, you both have my phone number. It's really not my job to call you for updates. It's your job as the director to call me and say, this is what's going on. Everything Wait. is scheduled. You have a Rolls Royce. Well, you can cancel You have it, a venue. You it. have dancers. You, you have a videographer. We're not doing you it. You have extras. And, 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 you have and, everything. And to quote Shawnee, thank you for your services. Really? Really, Tammy? Thank you for your services? Like, am I dealing with a business professional? Am I dealing with a manager right now? Or I'm dealing with somebody that's very petty? OK, well, you can't fire somebody when you're not paying them. So I, I, I can no longer do you a favor. You, uh, I, I'm sorry, but they you cannot can. hire somebody when you're not paying them. Like, not. I if can you want fire to get anybody, done I with a director, you, were, you, were you should have paid somebody. Job. You a job. job. Okay, when the, your favorite you can't, you can't fire me when you don't pay for me. Well, I can not miss you out of your service. Don't miss you out of your service. Don't miss you out of your service. Don't miss you out of your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Don't put your hand on me. Stop. 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 Stop.
I feel like the version of the story that the ladies told me is completely different from how it went down in my head. People were saying that I was in Jazz's face and that I was saying really mean things, and I feel like she's lied. I feel like that's not where I was. You, it might have been a whole another situation you were in, but the one that I was in, it didn't happen like that. Okay, well, I don't is, need is to that listen you to you. lied to everyone in this group about oh, okay. what really happened between me and Jazz. Okay. That's not how it happened. I don't make careers. I did not get in Jazz's face. I don't face make careers. And say this and say that. But you need a moment, bitch, right, and I'm not, not about not to give moment. it to I'm you. I'm DJ Duffy. I'm already and me. Who I'm knew already you good. Were? I'm already and successful, who knew Tammy. Who that actually was? I'm already successful, so okay. you don't make me any better. Okay. I'm just telling you how I feel. I just want Duffy to shut up in this moment because it is very mature of Tammy to walk away right now. All I'm thinking is like, please keep walking, Tammy. Enjoy yourself. Stop lying to people, telling them how the situation went, because that's not how it went. So you can walk away. Oh, no. No. Okay, what is it that you want to say? I just said everything I had to say. I'm sure you heard me. Okay, I didn't hear you. Okay? I didn't. I, I feel totally like you. Wait, wait, wait. I sure didn't hear you. Wait a minute, Tam. Wait a minute, It is the clash of the titans right now. These are some big bitches, and they not going to play. I'm scared of nobody, so bring it. Now she waits till six mother got me clanked down and I can't move my arms to swing. Oh Whack bitch. Get him off me. Get him off me. Hi, it's Jennifer Williams from Basketball Wives. Subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel so you don't miss anything this season.